In the previous video, you found out what is Kali Linux and why you should use it for the cybersecurity purposes. In this video, we will learn how to install and run Kali Linux as a virtual machine. So, in this video, we are going to install VMware Workstation Player, choose and download correct Kali Linux ISO image, correct Kali setting in VMware Player, and run Kali Linux. Let's start. Here are links to our downloads. First, we need to download and install Virtual Machine. For this course, I recommend you to use VMware Workstation Player, because it's convenient and free for personal use. So, let's go and download it. We can download it from here, and uh, everything you need to do is just uh, to choose uh, your operation system. My operation system now is uh, Windows 10 64-bit, uh, so I choose this link. Ok, we have it downloaded, so now let's install it. Just click on the .exe file, and here you are. Click yes, because you have administration right to run this program. And now we click here, we click next. Accept, next again, check this box, it's useful, next, and we can leave this box checked, it's ok too, next, next, and the installation is beginning. That's it, we've gotten it installed. Now you must restart your system for the configuration. Ok, we've got our VMware Workstation Player installed now. So now it's time to get a copy of our Kali Linux. We can get it here. Ok, now we are on the official download Kali Linux page. You can see here a lot of images. There are a few ways to install Kali. For this course, I'll show you the easiest and fastest one. The main downloads are here, but if you choose it, you'll have to make all the settings manually, and it will take spare time. That's why we are going down here. We see Kali Virtual Images and click on it. Here already I saw images for your virtual machine. You just need to choose version of your operation system, 32 or 64 bits and download your image for VMware machine. Also, you can choose how to download it, right from here or by torrent. I choose to download it right from here. So, the download is begin. It will take some time, so you can pause the video and have a cup of coffee or tea. Now, we have downloaded our Kali Linux ISO image on our computer and uh, let's install Kali in our VMware player. So, open the VMware player, and you can see here are different options. Our options is to open a virtual machine, because we have our Kali image ready. Here it is, in my folder downloads, and I see this file for Kali Linux virtual machine. You can see letters VM here, so you choose it, and open it. Here you are. We've got our Kali Linux. But we must look through the settings carefully. So, we click here, right button on the Kali machine, and click settings. Here you are. Look at this step. You see that memory must not be less than 2 GB uh, for Kali Linux works properly. It's not necessary to take uh, 40 GB, uh, 20 GB will be ok too. But uh, the very important thing, it's network adapter. But you must be absolutely sure that it says net here, because it's absolutely necessary for your Kali to have internet connection. So, that's enough. We can close it, and now we can run our Kali machine for the first time. Click here, click OK, 
and here Kali machine is running. You have to wait for some time. It will take a couple of minutes, but be patient, it's necessary. In a minute it will show us boxes to fill in our credentials. For Kali Linux the username is root and the password is tour. Its credentials used by default. We click here, we click here, type root, click next, type tour, sign in, wait a minute, and here you are. Congratulations! Now you have working Kali Linux and ready to learn penetration testing techniques. But wait, we must go through some more steps in this section. So in this video we have installed VMware Workstation Player, installed Kali Linux on virtual machine, tuned up VMware setting for Kali Linux, and actually run Kali Linux for the first time. In the next video you'll get to know with Kali Linux Closer and I'll tell you about its effective tools we are going to use during the course. Let's move ahead.